here we are in a state that we need every black man and black woman to unite together to try to stop the condition of our own coming generations. How are we going to stop it if we don't get together and do it? White folks are not trying to stop you murdering and killing each other. They are not trying to stop that. You call them, uh, there's a man full of dope or what not over here and he's killing everybody up and down the block. He got a gun. Right. The man will be going to New York before the police get there. That's right. Right. He ain't thinking about you. What's your name? What street? What address you live on? You got to answer all of those questions before she can send the police there. That's right. And the man done killed everybody in your neighborhood. And gone to another. <laughs> They don't care. That's right. That's right. Go to his neighborhood. Yes, and cut off one head. Right. Every police and uh, uh, <coughs> and uh, security of the government will be there. Even his army, they all will come out. What's the matter, right. nigga out here got a sword cutting off white folks' head? That's right. Yes, sir. Teach. Wow! Here they come. That's right. Teach. Teach. <laughs> 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 and then if it's quite a few of the black ones, here come the army. That's right. Tanks and everything. What's That's the matter? Right. Two niggas down there. That's right. That's right. Teach me, man. Teach me. Teach me. Why don't we obey the rules of Islam? Unite ourselves together That's and right. become one people? That's right. Having one leader? That's right. Yes. One. That's right. I'm not talking about a gang of leaders. What do you want with a gang of leaders to lead you? There you got one here, one over there, one down there, one back up here, a leader. Why? Because we are so dumb, we don't want one. We want a gang of them. Look at the Christian churches, how they sitting about in our neighborhood. Plenty of them is different denomination, and all of them say they are right. The hell can all of them be right? <laughs> and all of them against each other. Why don't they unite and all be Baptists, all be sanctified? Right. Uh uh, no, you ain't right, Baptist. You ain't right, sanctified. And don't mention the Muslim tongue. Oh, no. You get your head cut off then. <laughs> yes, sir. Peep our people. Our people. Look how many Muslim leaders that we got. Yes, sir. Gang of them. Nobody right but them. That's right. <laughs> When the Quran itself says Islam was the religion of every human child that is born, it was the religion of Abraham, Moses, right. Jesus, and all of the prophets that was before them. Islam was that religion. Now look at what you got today. You got half Islam, half Christians. You think God like that? Yes, sir. You can be whatsoever that you want to be according to the teaching of Master Farad Muhammad to his messenger. The messenger said to you and to me that when Allah comes that he will not uh, 
uh, have any religion other than Islam. And Islam would be the oldest religion that he would verify. That's right. Teaching of the Holy Quran and the Bible. Yes, sir. Here we are walking around here. I know this and I know that. And yes, don't know nothing. That's right. It's a shame, brother. Yes, sister. sir. That's right. <clears throat> I cannot say it. Yeah. Look at how many people flocks out That's right. to see other leaders in Islam right. when they come to big buildings. That's right. Go to the little temple and see if all those people is there. Right. Go ahead, teach. No. Why? You got too many leaders. Islam, the natural religion of man. Right. The natural religion of man. So says both books, Bible and Quran. The Bible just don't say Islam. That's right. It says God. Yeah, we walk around here day after day hollering and praying to God to please stop people from killing one another. That's right. So I can walk down the street in peace. That's right. You've never seen so many homes made jailhouses before in your life. That's right. Got to put bars up. Right down the street, they got bars on the church. You got to go open the bars up to get right. in there. Pete. When you walk out, you got to slam the gate together with bars in there. And that's supposed to be the house of God. Right. Tell me you in unity with who? Tell me you love your brothers and sisters. Who are they? Right. Yes, sir. Bible said love your enemies when when are you going to love your enemy love thy neighbor as thyself when your neighbor living next door to you can be the damnedest worst enemies on top side of God's earth excuse me sisters brothers but it's barefooted. That's right. Hide not the truth while you know it. That's right. <laughs> no, sir, brother. I do not announce myself as a prophet. No. I don't announce myself as a prophet. My brother here called me one. That's right. And I've had other people to call me one. That's right. People in L.A. have asked me, was I a prophet? That's right. I said, no. I don't call myself a prophet. I'm just a message from the message. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Did not you know that other people can find in a book about you faster than you would find it about your own self? That's right. <laughs> if I wanted to be a prophet, Probably I could. That's right. Because the prophet don't do nothing but predict things to come to pass. That's right. That's right. You can do that. Watch yourself how you talk sometime and then watch what happens. That's right. Yes, That's right. Listen. You can be prophet in that way. But the way that this is asked 
it is in you a prophet from God. I am a teacher from God. That's right. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. He made me God Almighty in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. Yes, sir. Anointed my head with oil. Yes, and my cup ran over. And as it ran over, he said, John, go and teach it. Yes, sir. So if he made me a teacher, I can make a prophet. <laughs> right? That's right. If he made me a teacher, a prophet have to have a teacher. That's right. Listen. <laughs> Don't take the wrong hell. In one book there he says, I am not a prophet, neither a prophet's son. Right. But I can be your prophet until the prophet come. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. People have wrote me letters asking me, is you a prophet? from things that I would tell them in answering their letters, telling them how to live, how to be, so that they can uh, become better in the life that they want to be in. That's right. My brother taught it to me. Now we one time called him prophet, mentioned Elijah Muhammad. We one time called him that, and he said, no, don't call me no prophet. I'm the messenger and the last of them. Yes, sir. <laughs> if so, why did messenger Elijah Muhammad say he was the last of the prophets? Meaning, if you say you are a prophet, then how is it Elijah say he was the last of them? He is. Last of the messengers, last of the prophets, the last of the justice, the last of the equality, the last of the blessings from our Lord that is going to come to the so-called American Negroes. Anything that's good coming into you, he is the last of it. That's right. If it was not for the promise, let me tell you this. If it was not for the promise that I stood on 8 Mile and now, uh, Woodside Avenue with Master Farad Muhammad and Messenger Elijah and I made a promise there with those two. If I had not did that, I would never have nothing to do with a gang of niggas trying to teach them something. Else. That's right. Oh, yes, baby. Yes, sir. Listen. All right. There is plenty of people I'm not saying calling you a Negro or a nigger. I'm not calling you that because a nigger is something that is a blunt piece of iron. Or like a man that stands out in the water at a sawmill. He's an iron man. And they call him a nigger. Every time a log come by, you hit it. And the devil stand back and says, just look at that nigger hitting that log. And when you was in fold shaking out, Listen. white devil standing by, look at that nigga how he shake out them wheels and whatnot. Right? That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Nigga is something that's dumb and blunt. Knows nothing. That's right. That's what we used to call ourselves. Right. Yeah, a person on the street said, oh, nigga. Yeah, what, yes, what else? That night he was calling a nigga. He didn't know nothing to tell him. Only said, don't call me a nigga. I'm a colored man. And he's saying the same thing. Right. 
Oh, my dear brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am the brother to the last of them. That's right. And I made my promise to him. Even while he was in the uh, Mercy Hospital, I think that's the name of it, there in Chicago, I shook hand with him. And his fingers on his hand, the skin had begun to cleave to the bone. I pushed up the shape that he had on. I said, let me see your arm. And his arm had no flesh on him, skin and bone. I looked at him. And I told him what a brother had asked me to do was to come to the little isle of Bermuda to teach for him. This is what he did. When I told him that, he held his head. I held, held my head down there. This is him. Look now. This is him right here. His voice was so low. I had to put my ear right to his mouth. He said, go, brother. He said, this is a beautiful world. Go see it and teach Islam as you go. That's what he whispered in my ear. Voice so weak. that a lot of people want to know who said you told John to be a minister. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Not only did he do that, but before my brother sitting right back there, he told me, he said, you an evangelist. I'll make you the evangelist. I'll go where I want to go. That's right. If I want to go to the devil to preach it, I can go there if I want to. But if I go to them to preach anything, it will be that Allah have came and whispered in my ears and said, John, go tell the devils this or that. And then I will be kind of slow moving looking back at him. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. People talking about warning Reagan's. Right. Warning Bush. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Warning them. Right. Bush and Reagan's knew more about the war that's coming on than any black man in America. That's right. Other than the Muslims that Allah have taught it to. Bush knows yes, what he's into. But Bush wants to rule the world. And the only way now he can rule the world, that is conquer the East. He got the other parts conquered. He even got space conquered. He got the depths conquered. He can make a machine to go and crawl on the floor of the deepest ocean from side to side. That's right. Now he's got planes with no man riding in it. Riding in the universe to take pictures of different planets. The devil! That's right. White folks! Right. At the same time the Bible said that the devil had power over death. <laughs> oh, yes. The Bible says it. Got power over death. The devil. He proved it to you. And you can prove to him that he does not have the power over God. Do it like Abraham did this uh, devil. Which one was that I was telling you about the other night? Nimrod. Yes. He went out and got eagles and made him a chariot and he sit in the chariot. He's going to go beyond the sun and the moon and 
the stars. He's going beyond them with two eagles. He got up so high he got scared. That's right. And came back. That's right. Great. Meeting Abraham, he said to Abraham, he says, I am God. I can cause you to die and I can cause you to live. He called two men from prison. He told the servant, says, kill one and let the other one go free. Servants did it. He looked at Abraham. Said to Abraham, he said, you see the power I got? I can save your life. I could have killed them both. Tell him like Abraham tell him, told him. Abraham said, yeah, but my God caused the sun to rise from the east. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you cause it to rise from the west? <laughs> yes, sir. 